throughout time, people across the world told each other tales of how they came to be, of heroes and monsters, romance and tragedy, death and rebirth. Mythology helped shape the ancient world, explaining the unexplainable. This is Mythology Unleashed. The continental United States is filled with legends of strange beasts and monsters. Cryptids stalking in the forests, lurking in the water, perhaps even hiding in your very town. These legends haunted American settlers and have even permeated into modern day culture. This program will go into detail about some of the most famous legendary creatures from folk tales and urban legends of post-colonial America. Our first creature is rooted in the folklore of the Pine Barrens in New Jersey, a beast colloquially known as the Jersey Devil, also called the Leeds Devil. Legend states that Jane Leeds of Estelleville, New Jersey was a mother of 12 children. When she discovered that she was pregnant with a 13th child, she cried out in despair that this child would be a devil. In 1735, Mother Leeds was in labor on a stormy night while her friends gathered about her. Born as a normal child, the 13th child changed to a creature with hooves, a goat-like head, bat wings, and a forked tail. Shrieking in animalistic fury, the child thrashed everyone with its tail before flying up the chimney and heading into the wild. For more than 250 years, this mysterious creature is said to prowl through the marshes of southern New Jersey and emerge periodically to rampage through the towns and cities. Countless stories have circulated describing the devil's escapades, raiding chicken coops and farms, destroying crops, killing animals. His presence has been seen and felt by many in at least 50 different towns when he emerges from his lair in the Pine Lands and wanders throughout southern New Jersey. Sometimes intriguing and sometimes terrorizing the residents. 911, what's your emergency? Hello, please? I saw this big monster. It had horns and teeth and looked like a kangaroo with giant wings. Uh, ma'am? Have you been drinking this evening? The Nain Rouge, also called the Red Dwarf or the Demon of the Strait, is a trickster demon from Detroit, Michigan. The Nain Rouge is described as a short, furry, imp-like creature with a red, hideous face, and having glistening eyes, and a grinning mouth displaying sharp, rotted teeth. According to various narratives surrounding the figure, Detroit's founder, Antoine de la Mothe Cadillac, was told by a fortune teller to appease the Nain Rouge. But upon encountering the creature, he beat it senseless until it fled. As consequence, a string of bad luck befell Cadillac. He was charged with abuse of power and resigned to Louisiana, later returning to France where he was briefly imprisoned and eventually lost his fortune. Like the Jersey Devil, the Nain Rouge is said to be a herald of bad luck. Sightings of the creature coincided with many of the region's lowest points from the Battle of Bloody Run in 1763 to the Twelfth Street Riots of 1967. Each spring, Detroit holds a costume community parade called the Marche du Nain Rouge, which the creature is traditionally chased out of the city. At the conclusion of the parade, an effigy of the Nain Rouge is destroyed, thus banishing the evil spirit from the city for another year. Lake Champlain is a 125 mile long body of fresh water nestled between New York and Vermont and extending into southern Canada. 
This is the home of the legendary creature Champ, also called Champy. Like the Loch Ness Monster in Scotland, Champ is an aquatic beast described as reptilian or amphibious in makeup. Its appearance varies from resembling a plesiosaur or basilosaurus to a large serpent with horns. Stories of the aquatic monster lurking beneath the water's surface have been told since the emergence of a lake from the Champlain Sea over 10,000 years ago. Abenaki and Iroquois tribes residing in the Adirondacks told legends of a man-eating lake monster called Gitaskog or Tataskog. Early in the 18th century, Abenakis warned French explorers about disturbing the waters of the lake so as to not disturb the serpent. Samuel de Champlain, whom the lake is named after, is often erroneously credited with being the first European to sight Champ, but readings of his accounts show that he was saw something near the St. Lawrence River. Purported sightings of Champ continue into the modern age, from an 1819 account of Captain Crum to photographs and video in the 21st century. Champ, whether a cryptid animal or mythical creature, is celebrated throughout Vermont and New York as a mascot for local businesses, children's books, and sports teams. The harbor of Gloucester, Massachusetts is located just north of Boston on the lower part of Cape Ann, jutting out into the Atlantic Ocean. Since 1638, sightings of a sea serpent have haunted the coast of the harbor town and nearby New England waters. The Gloucester Sea Serpent, also called the Cape Ann Serpent or the Ipswich Serpent, is described as being anywhere from 60 to 90 feet long, shaped entirely of keg-sized humps, having black, snake-like skin durable enough to repel musket fire, and eyes as large as pewter plates. Sightings continued into the 19th century, with reports of it attacking small boats and fishing vessels. As time would go on, sightings of the Gloucester Sea Serpent lessened more and more. Some believe the deterioration of the once fertile fishing areas off of New England due to overfishing may have caused the creature to search for new hunting grounds or even go extinct. Many believe that it never existed, merely a misidentification of an existing creature or an elaborate hoax. Others, however, believe the serpent is still out there, prowling the coastal waters of New England. Since 1936, the town of Elkhorn, Wisconsin and surrounding counties have been the setting of an alleged sighting of a great canine-like monster, the Beast of Bray Road. The beast is described as immense in stature, up to seven feet tall and densely muscled, with a vaguely humanoid body type capable of both quadrupedal and bipedal locomotion as well as thick fur and a wolf-like head. Throughout the 20th and 21st centuries, alleged witnesses to the beast claim to have seen it crossing Bray Road, or have had their vehicles collide with it, only for the beast to shrug it off unfazed. In addition to these eyewitness reports, reports of claw marks embedded into vehicle doors and animal mutilations of deer and livestock partially eaten and mauled are abundant. A number of explanations for the legend have arisen. It could be a mutated or cryptid wild dog, a real-life werewolf, a subspecies of Bigfoot, an escaped laboratory experiment, or an absurdly large wolf, a misidentified bear, or a series of elaborate hoaxes. But the Beast of Bray Road is not the only wolf-like monster said to roam the United States. The Rougarou, or Lugaru, is said to prowl the bayous and marshlands of the greater New Orleans area of Louisiana. Similar to the Beast of Bray Road, the Rougarou 
is noted for having a human-like body with the head of a wolf or a dog. But unlike Wisconsin's man-wolf, the Rougarou is said to have been human at one point, similar to the myths of werewolves. According to Cajun folklore, a person becomes a Rougarou either when a person fails to observe Lent for seven years in a row, or if they have been cursed by a witch. During the day, the creature maintains human form, remaining secretive of their condition for fear of being killed. But at night, a frightening metamorphosis takes place, and the Rougarou proceeds to prowl the fields and bayou, looking for prey. The unlucky individual, cursed as the Rougarou, is then under the spell for 101 days. After that time, the curse is transferred from person to person when the Rougarou draws the blood of another human being, and then the cycle continues. The best known method to protect one's home from a Rougarou involves placing a colander or 13 pennies or stones on the doorstep or the windowsill. Legend has it that the Rougarou is fixated on counting, but does not know how to count beyond the number 12. This method would perplex the creature, delaying its approach until escape or help could be found, or until the sun rises. Superstition of early German immigrants tells of the Snallygaster, a bizarre chimera of bird, mammal, and reptile, said to haunt Frederick County, Maryland, and the adjacent areas of South Mountain and Middletown Valley. Its appearance is similar to that of the cockatrice of medieval Europe, with the half-bird features of a siren, and additional attributes of reptilian scales, a metallic beak lined with razor-sharp teeth, and even octopus-like tentacles. Snallygaster was said to fly high in the night sky, emitting a cry akin to a train whistle, and swoop down on unsuspecting livestock or children out past dark, and carry them off for its meal. For generations, the story of the Snallygaster never changed. No one ever saw the Snallygaster, but residents believed it was there. The monster's legend was heavily utilized in the Prohibition era. Moonshiners in the forests and mountains of northern Maryland co-opted the old story in an effort to scare revenue agents away and explain the sounds of their manufacturing. Since then, alleged encounters with the cryptid began to appear in newspapers even outside the state of Maryland. Reports of footprints found in New Jersey a close call with a woman and roosting in a barn in West Virginia, and sightings flying in Ohio. Towards the end of Prohibition, the Snallygaster is said to have died in Washington County when it was overcome by the fumes of a moonshine still and fell from the sky into a 2,500 gallon vat of alcohol. According to the story, Revenue agents soon arrived and destroyed both the vat and the carcass of the beast. No reports have been made of the Snallygaster since. Another creature spawned from the depths of Maryland folklore is the Goat Man. Legend has it, in the 1950s, the United States government had experimented with gene-splicing animal and human DNA in an attempt to enhance the physical strength and senses of people. While working with domestic goats, a scientist's experiment went awry, and the doctor was transformed into a human-goat hybrid. Similar in appearance to the satyrs of Greek mythology, this hideous creature is full of unbridled rage and takes his fury out on any who cross his path. Media attention of the Goat Man first started in 1971, when it was reported that the creature had decapitated a local dog. Stories would continue to flood in about the Goat Man, attacking and chasing teenagers, slaughtering people and eating their entrails, and killing domestic animals. 
Sightings of the creature, whether true or hoaxes, continue to be reported even from outside of Maryland, as far north as Ontario, Canada, and as far south as Texas. In the late 1960s, legends of the Mothman circulated throughout the town of Point Pleasant, West Virginia. Mothman, named in homage to the comic book character Batman, is said to be a bird-like creature, roughly seven feet tall, with a massive wingspan, gray in color, with burning red eyes. In some early sightings, Mothman was said to not have a head, only a pair of eyes set near the tops of its shoulders. Some witnesses recalled seeing a head, but one without features. Some said his wings were not feathered, while others said that the wings had small patches of feathers. The creature was also said to have the ability to take to the air without the need to flap its wings. It could hypnotize with its glowing eyes, or even invade dreams and cause nightmares. The first sighting of the creature happened November 12, 1966, when five men were preparing a gravesite for a burial. Three days later, Two married couples were driving late at night near an abandoned TNT plant. They noticed that the door to the plant seemed to have been ripped off at its hinges, and saw the creature appear seemingly from nowhere. Terrified, they sped off in their car, but the creature took flight and was able to keep pace with them even when they sped at 100 miles an hour. Other mysterious phenomena included UFO activity electrical and telephone disturbances, altergeist activity, phantom dogs, animal mutilations, all attributed to Mothman. The mayhem culminated on December 15, 1967, exactly 13 months after Mothman's first appearance. The Silver Bridge near Point Pleasant collapsed suddenly, sending 46 people to their deaths. Survivors of the tragedy claim to have seen the Mothman flying overhead. Most explanations for this cryptid sightings are misidentifications of great horned owls, sandhill cranes, or even large herons, while the red eyes are believed to be animal eyes reflecting a light source. But many still believe Mothman is still out there, causing tragedy and striking terror wherever he goes. Last, but certainly not least, is a creature that has baffled cryptozoologists and avid monster hunters for generations. Bigfoot. The creature is known by many colloquial names, such as Sasquatch in the Northwest, and Skunk Ape in the Southeast. But no matter the beast's name, it is universally described as resembling something of a missing link between human beings and great apes. It is described as being covered in dense fur, putrid smelling, being bipedal in locomotion, having long arms that dangle to its knees, and being immense in size, with reports of it being up to 10 feet tall, with massive feet, hence the name Bigfoot. Supposed tracks left by the creature sometimes measure as long as 24 inches in length and up to 8 inches wide. In addition to large footprints, signs of Bigfoot in the area include hearing strange sounds such as wood knocking or grunts of non-native fauna, large rocks being thrown seemingly from nowhere, leaves and brush crudely woven for large nests, and unexplained property damage. The existence of Bigfoot has long been a mystery, with hundreds upon hundreds of sightings, photographs, and alleged interactions being reported every year. Many such reports wind up being elaborate hoaxes or cases of misidentification with other large furred creatures, such as bears or bison. Could Bigfoot really exist? Perhaps an elusive primate species or a remnant of the Ice Age? Or would it be too difficult for a creature or race of creatures so large in size to go undetected for so long? 
Both skepticism and optimism remain high across the country. The legends of the United States have spawned a plethora of terrifying and intriguing creatures. From demons of colonial times to cryptid animals. They are said to be everywhere. In the forests and the mountains. In lakes and coastal waters. Even in cities and towns. Whether or not these legends are based in fact or superstition, the creatures of American folklore have inspired both terror and intrigue in the hearts of people across the world.